I remember playing the original Dead Space clear back in 2008 on the Xbox 360 and it was even terrifying back then, but how does the remake stack up? Welcome to Busy Dad Gaming, the place for busy dads and all things gaming. One of the biggest problems we run into with remakes is that they're almost as bad as movie adaptations. And let's be honest, they have a pretty poor reputation for a reason. Two remakes that come to mind are Warcraft 3 Reforged, which I actually got a refund on that one, and GTA the Trilogy, which was a hot mess and I think still is kind of a mess. With remakes having that kind of reputation, it is the Dead Space remake doomed to fail? So to dive right into things, we're gonna take a look at the graphics. And let me start with this. This game looks amazing. And it's creepy as hell. Playing this game even during the day was creepy. And so to give you an idea, I played this game during one of my daughter's naps and my wife came up behind me while I was playing in one of the sections and it scared the shit out of me. Now, I originally thought the 2008 version was actually really scary, but looking at it in retrospect, it's not as scary as this game. This game really does personify that atmosphere and that creepiness, almost kind of like how Alien did. And this game really does use its graphical horsepower to really good extent. And while you're fighting a Necromorph as an example, you could be shooting its limbs off and you're breaking down multiple limbs and it has different layers to those limbs. So you can actually see how damaged that particular one is and you may end up getting you know kind of ganged up on the back so you have to really be paying attention and it really does have a creepy atmosphere to it now the real caveat to this is sometimes it's almost too dark in certain areas even if you have your flashlight so for example if you're sitting there fighting a couple necromorphs and you're stomping on one you can't really see how damaged it is as you're stomping on it and I took plenty of hits because of that fact but just a nitpick at this point now if you want a full breakdown of Dead Space Remake make sure to check out digital Foundry's uh, analysis after this, but suffice it to say, this game looks amazing. And that brings us to story. No spoilers here, but you essentially play as Isaac Clarke and you're part of a team to find out what happened to the USG Ishimura. Your character's motivation is to find out what happened to your girlfriend Nicole on the Ishimura. And there's added story in this game where you can take some side quests to kind of flesh that out a bit more and you get to better understand a couple of the characters. So I really did appreciate that. So as you're playing the game, you have that main story of what's going on with the, the Ishimura. And then you have these side quests to figure out a couple different characters and kind of flesh out the world a little bit more. But Regardless if you choose to do the side quests or not, the main storyline is a great story and I really did enjoy going and playing through it again. And that brings me to, is this game actually fun? And yes, very much so. I really did enjoy my time with it. Now I do feel the game got better as it went on. So for example, you get to unlock additional weapons, you get to unlock different armor sets, you can upgrade your armor. There's a lot of different things that you can do in this game that actually made it much better than the original. Now the first chapter really does kind of set you up on what you can expect from this game and I ended playing this game on medium and that was good enough from a difficulty and a story perspective so it wasn't like super hard but it wasn't super easy either and another big change is the Ishimuri is actually more connected as opposed to how it was in the original game where it didn't make a lot of sense of how things were structured but this game between the trams and the elevators it all is interconnected and you can backtrack in a lot of these areas where if you get upgraded security clearance you can go back to some of those previous areas and pick up additional uh, upgrades and things of that nature so I really did appreciate that the Ishimuri was more connected and that just ended up adding to the overall gameplay experience. Which brings me to should you actually pick this game up and I've played all of the previous Dead Spaces so I have a general sense of what to expect going into these games and with Dead Space Remake I would actually say that this was better than I thought it was going to be and it was a lot of fun. And even having played all three original Dead Spaces I still ended up buying the remake with my own money so that should give you some insight. Now between the graphics, the story, the updated gameplay elements and just overall how creepy this game can be, it didn't feel like a remake. It felt like a game that was made better as a result of going through this process. So yes, it still has a lot of the original, you know, bones and things of that nature here, no pun intended, but it does end up improving upon the original game in some key areas that I thought made this game even better than the original. So for me personally, I would say this is easily one of the best remakes that I've ever played. And it is easily one of those games that is a must buy if you're into this kind of game. Now, if you're not sure what game to play after Dead Space Remake, make sure to check out my playlist going over different games that might be a good fit for you. And I'll see you over there.